the sunshine which we always receive in the semi-arid areas where personally I'm farming from, I'm a farmer for vegetables and fruits. Besides me here, where I'm standing, it's an apple tree which I planted on 30th of March this 2022 and it is growing very well. But the sunshine which we always receive in these kind of areas, many farmers tend to withdraw from farming because of that sunshine. So being a farmer for fruits and vegetables, fruits they are still growing so we cannot just give up like any other person. There are some farmers who have picked these apple seedlings from me, who have bought these seedlings of apples from me, so we cannot give up. Today's video, I want to show you what you are going to do in your farms if you are a farmer, if you are a farmer in semi-arid areas and you keep your fruit trees growing. For apples specifically, this is what we are going to do. No wasting any time. Christina, the principal farmer, the real life coach, and the past your smiling destination because a hungry person is always an angry one. I'm here to say that we have very many smiles around the globe, around the world. So subscribe to this channel if you haven't because we always have the cheapest, the easiest, quickest, and best methods anybody can use and farm. I'm going to show you this apple tree, how you're going to maintain it in the dry season. No wasting any time. Here we are. We have started. I had uh, done some mulching earlier. Manual application was also done. Even besides me here, it's a sack of uh, chicken dung manure. It's a bag full of chicken dung manure. But um, um, we are not going to use any manure at this time. Why? Because um, even if we apply manure, it will be almost useless. Because we don't have a lot of water that is going to be the vessel to transfer these nutrients of, from the manure. So what are we going to do? We are just going to give um, a maintenance dose to this tree here to go through the dry season such that we don't lose it in this coming sunshine. So what are we going to do? Um, let me first clean up the mulches I had put around. We clean up the tree very well such that you can see the ground like this. So we shall use this charcoal dust. I have charcoal dust here. Charcoal dust is very good at uh, retaining moisture in the soil. So it's what we are going to give to our apple tree. We are going to pour it all around. You make sure everywhere it's covered very well. You make sure everywhere it's covered very well. Um, this charcoal dust, I've tried them on bananas, and I'm finding them very, very good and effective at keeping moisture in the soil. So we are giving them to these apple trees. Why are we giving them to the apple trees? Because they need water to survive the dry season. Uh, we would have used any other thing, but um, again, being the dry season, you'll find termites are all over in the place. You'll find people's chicken, they are all over, scratching everywhere. But when they look at something like this, the charcoal dust, they'll see that there's nothing to be eaten in here. And they are going to leave our crops to grow the way they should. So after we have done this, we shall put back our mulches. Our mulches like this. Then we shall water. You water a whole um, watering can at least two times in a week, at least twice a week. Water with this watering can full twice a week. Uh, apples tend to need um, good dehydrated um, hydrated soils. They tend to need um, uh, soils which are very fertile. However, in semi-arid areas where I'm farming from, our soils are sandy. They can easily uh, absorb water and lose water. So there is nothing much we are going to do. But after doing this, you put back your mulches, water twice a week. Your tree is going to survive the dry season. And at the end of the day, the Bible says, 
in Psalm 127, that if the Lord doesn't protect the cities, even the keepers are wasting their time. So put your tree in the hands of the Lord, and at the end of that day we shall enjoy the fruits from this apple tree. Thank you for viewing the video. Thank you for being my subscribers. If you haven't today, subscribe to my channel. May the good Lord bless you all.